Hello, in this demo we're going to show how we can pull data, for example from a RSS feed, and push, the, push this data in a full sync database. This data will then be synchronized on the mobile devices. So the first thing I would like to do is to create the connector to get my RSS feed. So uh, exactly like the other videos uh, for the RSS feed, I'm going to create a connector. This will be a HTTP connector. I'm going to name it, for example, CNN RSS. This is the name of the connector. Now we're going to program the connector with the correct information here. So uh, the server will be, uh, of course, the server of the RSS here. I'll just copy and paste my information on the server. Okay, here it is. Just get rid of the HTTP and uh, the dash name. Let me change a little bit this. Here it is. I'm going to save a project. And now I will create a transaction. Uh, I will name this transaction as XML. You know that RSS is XML format, so I choose XML HTTP transaction. So this is get RSS, finish. And I will program here the subpath of the RSS feed. So everything after the server. So Okay, here it is. So I can test my get RSS, see if I get my data from the RSS, and I see that I get my data from the RSS feed. Uh, as usual, as in any convertible projects, I will have to describe the structure or the schema of what's coming out. So I'm going to do something called um, update schema from current generated XML. And here it is. Yeah. And this is my schema generated. Good. So what I would like to do now is to create a sequence that will pull the data from the RSS and push the data into the feed. So to do this, I will create a new sequence. I'm going to create this name to be pull, R pull RSS to full sync. Okay, pull is two L's, that's better. Okay, finish. And then here it is my sequence. Of course, the fun thing my uh, sequence will do is get the feed. So I will drag and drop the get RSS into the sequence with holding the control key. And here, that's done. So I have my, my first step is called for it. Now the second thing I would like to do is push this data into the full sync database. To do this, I will have to create in my full sync connector a new transaction and this transaction will be a post bulk documents so this transaction is a standard transaction to post a bunch of documents into the database so we'll assume here that every item of the rss will be a document that have to be different in the database so that's why i'm going to use the post bulk documents next and the wizard is telling me what are the parameters I would like to this uh, transactions. So these are optional parameters, uh, we don't use them. I will definitely need an ID and the data itself to be created in this transaction. So uh, we have other, other parameters that has more advanced, we'll see this uh, in advanced tutorials. So I have the ID and the data. Good. So as we here, we have our possible with the ID and data. As you see, book documents is taking a list of ID and a list of data items here, okay? So now if I drag and drop my possible document into the my sequence with the control key, here it is, I will have to map the ID and data to my to my call sequence. So as usual, as in Convertigo, I will position the picker to be on the RSS feed. I see the RSS feed, document, RSS, channel, and then each item. In this demo, we're going to choose the ID of the data to be exactly the link of the data itself. This is uh, an ID because an ID has to be unique. So uh, what we think that the best thing to be unique in the RSS feed is the HTTP link. 
so uh, this is unique to each of the links there so that's why we're going to choose the link beware don't choose the link itself but choose the text item of the link here this is the real link okay this is the real data here the text item so I would drag and drop the text to the ID here it is good and also uh, for each of the uh, items and the IDs I need the item itself in this case I will drag and drop the item to the data here good so now I finished my uh, my transaction my sequence that will pull the RSS data to the full sync database so let's run the the sequence to see how this works so if I right click and run it well the data will be inserted into database let's see if this works so to control what is in my database I will use a tool that is a standard tool that comes with the CouchDB uh, server and this tool is called uh, Futon that means the uh, this this tool is here and I will call Futon here just okay and here is Futon so I'll just drag and drop here so you can see and you'll see that I will have in my database all my data that is completely inserted in the database so you see this is the ID of each of the documents and if I open an ID I will have for each item the, da the data that is completely inserted in the database as no SQL here the item for each ID okay so this is the proof that in just two steps of the sequencer I can get data complex data from a connector and push this complex data to the uh, full sync database in just two pushes okay so this is the first step to create data now in the next video we're going to see how this data can be synchronized on the mobile device thank you for your attention